Assalamu alaikum doctors in this video I am discussing cystic fibrosis history. So cystic fibrosis history the chief complaints exemption and it come as a known case of cystic fibrosis came with cough. So it is an acute exacerbation of cystic fibrosis. Then four month old child came with cough and failure to thrive. So cough and failure to thrive. Uh, then child with a history of chronic cough. Okay these are the chief complaints. Then first we analyzing the symptoms. If alternating growth so analysis of the complaints plus nutritional history. So suppose diarrhea chief complaint, onset course and duration, what make it better, what make it worse. Then 5F, we know that uh, any loose motion 5F, that is frequency, fever, food content, foul smelling, flush, flushing difficulty and frequency. Again, uh, frequency, fever, food content, foul smell, flushing difficulty and frequency. So amount, color, order, consistency, pain, mucus, blood, undigested food, difficult to flush if using toilet, greasy if using diaper. So in diaper is it greasy, nocturnal diarrhea and swelling. So these are asking if failure to thrive chief complaints then onset course in duration what make it better and what make it worse. And Ali, what is Ali? Appetite loses, losses by vomiting and diarrhea and evidence. How did you notice it? Clothes, weight and peers, growth chart. So this is failure to thrive, onset course and duration what make it better and what make it worse than Ali. Appetite then losses like vomiting or diarrhea. Then E for evidence. How did you notice that? By clothes, weight or PRs plus growth chart. Now, if cough is the chief complaints, then onset course and duration, what make it better and what make it worse? What make it worse and what make it better? Okay, first time recurrent occur. When was the last time? Dry or productive cough, color and amount of the cough, triggers, any cold, pollens, animals, timing of the cough. Is it more at night? Is it related to exercise? Is there any shortness of breathing or cessation? If infant apnea, we ask that. Any musical sound, any sinuses, does he have any chronic illness, any other concerns, any chest pain, pox, snoring sound, nasal polyp, itchy nose, and if it's seasonal recurrent ear box. If chronic, ask about the previous sputum, contacts to COVID patient. Again, if the chief complaint is cough, how can we analyze it? On such course and duration, what make it better and what make it worse? And is it first time occur or recurrent occur? When was the last time? The cough is dry or productive. The color amount, amount of the cough triggers any cold pollens and animals timing of cough is it more at night is it related to exercise is there any shortness of breathing or cessations if infant and apnea we ask that any shortness of breathing or cessations any musical sound any sinuses does he have any chronic illness any other concerns any chest pain pox snoring sound nasal polyp itchy nose and if it's seasonal recurrent ear box if chronic ask about the previous sputum contact to covid patient Nutritional history like type of feeding, breast or artificial or wind, amount, special food, any defect in his mouth, palate or lips, do you have a food diary and measurements and growth chart. So nutritional history uh, will tell detail like type of feeding, breast or artificial or wind, amount or special food, any defect in his mouth, palate or lips, do you have a food diary, measurement and growth chart. Now systemic review, GIT, we are asking tummy pain in tummy size, poor nature, is it difficult to flush? If still in nappies, ask about is it greasy, any mouth ulcer, soreness on the back passage area, swelling from the back passage, thrown up or spitting, any yellowish discoloration, any mask, especially in the right side. So any yellowish discoloration you need to ask. Does he look like you and his daddy? Uh, does he have any chronic illness, any other concerns? FWASL, that is fever, weight, activity and sleep. These are we are asking. Then going to other systemic review, first CVS. Awareness of the heart base, chest pain, exercise intolerance, fainting attacks and blood pressure. CNS like headache, unusual movement, fears, weakness, loss of consciousness. MS scan, skin, joint pain, joint swelling and history of rickets or osteoporosis. So failure to thrive, history of rickets and osteoporosis, bone achy, skin spots, is it itchy? What is the extent? What did you do for that? Does itching interfere with sleep? Is there any redness? Any hyper or hypopigment areas, neck and axilla? Changes in hair and its distribution, nail changes. Endocrine like... Uh, CFRD that is cystic fibrosis related diabetes we know that so blood sugar measures hot or cold intolerance swelling in the middle of the neck then urinary change in the pee color amount of frequency pain during peeing hematology pallor bleeding recurrent infections so cystic fibrosis we keep the diabetic feature also we can find rickets feature we can find okay then past history 5 TIOA if chronic patient when diagnosed who diagnosed him how was he diagnosed? What treatment given to him? Is he taking it regularly? Who give treatment to him? Any complications to treatment? Previous hospitalization, if any, in ICU. 
then about perinatal history in details maternal disease or drugs during pregnancy any screening done during pregnancy type of delivery term or preterm fast cry birth weight time of passage of fast poo remember any poo related problem time of passage of fast poo time of separation of the belly button heel prick test yellowish discoloration and birth and admission to the niq development is very important in details and growth chart puberty delayed puberty key in previous exam scenario so delayed puberty also present vaccination received all his shots any extra shots pneumococcal influenza and varicella parents received covid vaccination family and impact any similar condition uh, because it is an autosomal recessive condition so any similar condition asthma or atopy any psychological issue on child sibling and parents easy access to the hospital any social or financial support allergy like ask about the allergy to food like augsman putin intolerance to drugs atopic marks allergic rhino conjunctivitis home area shown animals or pets smoking at home washing the bed sheets at which degree any nearby constructions new paints or garden so these are actually exacerbate the conditions so home aeration animals or pets smoking at home washing bed sheets at which degree any nearby constructions new paints or garden school type of school school performance attendance and bullying okay so what are the differential diagnosis of chronic cough the child come with chronic cough history you are telling cystic fibrosis either new patient or exacerbations then uh, immunodeficiency chronic lung disease bronchiectasis primary ciliary dyskinesia bronchopulmonary dysplasia malignancy like lymphoma so uh, chronic cough ddr cystic fibrosis either new or uh, exacerbations immunodeficiency chronic any lung disease bronchiectasis primary ciliary dyskinesia bronchopulmonary dysplasia and malignancy like lymphoma dd of exacerbations are non compliant to the treatment in appropriate dose wrong diagnosis and other type of allergies coexisted so exacerbations why worker will search that no compliant we ask them about how you are taking treatment regularly no then inappropriate dose he has not checked the dose then wrong diagnosis and other type of allergies coexisted so triggering factor present so this is all about the cystic uh, fibrosis history taken thank you